In this video, we'll see how do we create a folder using file system object. As you already know, file system object is an interface between UFT and the local machine. So when UFT wants to create any folder or file, it will take help of this file system object and then they can do that functions. So let us see that how do we create a folder. So very first thing if you see, I've written a code here that is set FSO file system object, the short form I've given here equal to that is the method by which you create an object and that is scripting dot file system object. Now I've named a folder. I've assigned some data to this folder. That is the location E drive and the folder name I've given that is folder underscore create. You can change the folder name. You can change the drive name according to your requirement PC. So now what I've done is I've, uh, I've put here a condition. There is a possibility that this folder might already be existing there. So if it is existing, what it should do. So I've said as if FSO dot folder exist, if that folder is already existing, which folder this is the name of the folder. So this would be the location. If it is false, if the folder is not there, then you create a folder. Okay, FSO dot create folder and this will be the folder path and the name. So if it is not there, then you create it. Otherwise you come on out of this loop itself and if in the condition itself. And finally, I'll say as FSO equal to nothing. So what is FSO equal to nothing? It will release all the resources which have been occupied by this object itself. So it will release all the resources part. So therefore I've used as FSO nothing, right? So I hope you're able to understand. Let us see now practically, will the folder be created or not? But first thing is I'll show you this E drive in that place. The folder is there or not. I'll open this. I'll open the E drive. Yeah. So you can see in the E drive, I have just one file that is demo and that's a notepad file. Now when I execute this command, when I execute this code, if I click on this run button, click on this run. Okay, it has been passed. Now I'll go back to the folder and check whether the folder is created or not. Yeah. Now if you see there's a folder already created, folder dot underscore create. And there's a folder and the time is given here, 9, 24, 2016, the day and the time both are given here, right? So I hope you're able to understand how do we create a folder into your location. And if there is an already existing folder, how do you manage it, right? That's all for this video.